different roles within a company require different UI screens in SAP Business One for each user. This makes sure that an employee can only see or change data he is entitled for. And second, screens which have been optimized for specific tasks can improve user experience and productivity. As an administrator at OEC, Jason Butler is responsible for adapting the screens. In this demo, he will adapt the business partner screen for the role in sales operation. Adapting screens can cause a lot of work. Therefore, before adapting the screens, Jason checks which business functions are not used in the company. OEC Computers does not need payment wizard because it will not generate incoming or outgoing payments in batches, so Jason can hide the business function payment wizards completely. Subsequently, all payment wizard related fields in SAP Business One will be automatically removed by the system from all screens and for all business users. The result can be seen, for example, in the Business Partner Master Data screen. The fields Payment Block and Single Payment will disappear as well as the whole table with the payment methods. So hiding complete business functions could save a lot of screen adaptation effort beforehand. Now Jason wants to adapt the Business Partner screen for the daily work of Mary Heskey in Sales Operation. Screen adaptation can be easily done by just creating a UI configuration template for a specific role and by adding the forms which are to be edited for this role. In the edit mode for the business partner screen, Jason can define which business partner data Mary will be allowed to see or to edit. The field Business Channel Code is not relevant for sales operation at all, so Jason removes it by right mouse click and selecting Hide. Because sales operation does not need any information on the tab Accounting, this tab will be removed completely. Business Partner Group is an attribute which should be displayed but not be edited by anyone from Sales Operation. Jason deactivates it for this role. The credit limit information under the tab Payment Terms is an important information and should be relocated to a more prominent place on the Business Partner screen. Therefore, Jason takes it out of the tab Payment Terms and adds it on the General tab. Moreover, UDF fields can also be relocated to the main screen area by just drag and drop. Having finished the adaptation of the business partner screen, Jason saves the changes. As a final step, he assigns Mary Heskey to the UI template sales operation. And now let's check the results with Mary Heskey's login. On the business partner screen, the business channel code has disappeared. The whole tab accounting is not available anymore. Business partner group has been deactivated for Mary. The credit limit is now displayed on the tab general. The UDF field ABC category can be found on the main screen. The screen adaptation by an administrator enables a company to unload screens from unnecessary information and to realize its authorization concept. Additionally, the simplified UIs can improve user experience and productivity of Mary Heskey as a sales operator. What if Mary Heskey has several roles within the company and therefore needs several variants of a screen? Sometimes Mary Heskey also acts as an account manager. In this role, she would need nearly full authorization for the business partner screen. 
For this case, JSON can define another UI template for the role account manager with a different screen variant and assign some Mary to this UI template. From Mary's perspective, she can simply switch between the different screen variants whenever she needs. On top of the administrator screen adaptation, each end user can customize the screens to his own needs. Mary personally prefers to have all fields and UI elements close to each other. By customizing the screen to her own need, Mary can further improve her UI experience and productivity.